We're we stopped at, at Naked Brewery. almost to Brattleboro, and Carrie was a little tired of driving, so we decided to take a quick break. On a side note, they have a hip camp here that we considered about $50 it's per night, and it's a two-night minimum. Yeah. Yeah, that's uh, so it's kind of it's kind of lame, no. to be honest. So, alrighty, here we go. Let's check this brewery out. <laughs> we have great food though. You we do have, have great food. We have good restaurants and good food. Yes. Yeah, it's good. Nice. I had to bring my own cheese because they were out of vegan cheese. <laughs> Just so it happens, caramel mozzarella. Let's take a look at this. Ooh, that's a nice looking pizza. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that looks delicious. Yeah, yeah, okay. I'm not eating there yet, so hopefully it's better. It looks like it's good, so. They're like, there were mm. too many options. I love that. Thumbs up, one or two? Two. They make great pizza. Two. <laughs> <laughs> Time to get to work. You don't say and go. Action! Action! <laughs> <laughs> from Fort Dummer State Park, Brattleville, Vermont. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Uh, we are here, as Gary said, in Brattleboro, Vermont. We were not expecting the cold. <laughs> it's freezing. It's actually really cold. It's topping at about 52 degrees today. I can't feel my fingers. <laughs> I can't feel my fingers. But um, yeah, we are, uh, we just got here yesterday late, uh, or early evening, I guess you could say, and uh, we started fire. It was, it was just too, it was too cold to even uh, say hello to you guys. But here we are, and I uh, did some mushroom hunting already. Found, found a couple. Uh, found a couple, but um, not as many as I did last time I was here. Uh, just mushroom heaven here. But um, looks like the season of mushrooms is winding down here. So uh, we're gonna go into town today. Brattleboro is a very cool town. It's a wonderful town. They got a great little co-op. Mm -hmm. Yep, we're gonna go to the co-op, get a few groceries, and um, there's a brewery, Whetstone, Whetstone Brewery. Yeah, yeah. something like, yeah, it's Whetstone, I think that's what it's called. And it's right on the border of uh, Vermont and New Hampshire. Yeah, which is really the funny. Bar, the border of uh, Vermont and New Hampshire go right, goes right down the center of the bar. Yeah. So it's kind of it's cool. So on one side of the bar, you're in uh, Vermont, and then the other side of the bar, you're in, in New, New Hampshire, Hampshire, which is which is really <laughs> funny. Um, I do find it interesting that the bar, the liquor part of the bar, is, in New is on the Nan New Hampshire side. Yes. <laughs> yes. So I, I think that's by design. Yeah, maybe. Uh, <laughs> you know, because uh, basically, you know, liquor in New Hampshire is a lot cheaper. So it's just kind of an interesting place, and it's right on the water. Yeah. It's a beautiful, beautiful view from yeah. there. So yeah. I think we might stop for a burger. So we're gonna have uh, a little lunch there. Just so you can see how cute this little town of Brattleboro is. It's really quaint, so I hope you, we hope you love that. And Tomorrow is Saturday. Tomorrow is Saturday. What day is that? Uh, farmer's Market Day. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to go to the Farmer's Market there. It, probably one of the best Farmer's Markets that I have, 
I've, that I've been to. Yeah, yeah. Really, really nice. Uh, wonderful farmers. Very friendly and uh, informative. And yeah, we're going to enjoy our time here. We hope you enjoy this video. And uh, if you haven't already, smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so we can bring you more content like this. Yeah. And let's go check out Brattleboro. <laughs> Where are we? Right here. We're in Brattleboro. <laughs> Brattleboro. We're at um, actually a very cool sports store. Yeah, and, and we... Um, it's, it's a nice store. It is a really nice store. They've got a little bit of everything here, guys. But, um, so, we didn't expect it to be this cold here. <laughs> it took us a little bit by surprise. So, guess what we're getting? We're, we're getting a little buddy heater. We're getting a little buddy heater. Because we want to just be comfortable tonight. <laughs> Okay, that was a good stop. Coming back to the car to drop off the goods. And then we're heading over for more provisions. <laughs> Look at this. This is a typical New England setting. Oh. And then right off to your right, he's parking and you can walk down to the farmer's market. <laughs> it's my favorite day of the week. <laughs> this market's just amazing. We were here last year and good food, uh, lots of food trucks. Artists. And artists and yeah. It's right along the river. Yeah, it's, it's really nice. beautiful. Great park. Let's, uh, let's check it out. She has some lovely handmade cards here, Rosie's Wonders. They're very nice. I do, I take them back. I love these. Thank you so much. Oh, nice. Do you draw all of these? I do. They start out in my sketchbook. Uh huh. Look at these, you guys. Very first picture book. Picture book. Yeah. That's so nice. Yeah, you're welcome to look through oh, it definitely. if you like. Thank you. Of course. This is a wonderful little gift to give. Thank you. Look how pretty this is. Yeah. He's got some he's got me. Right, right. Look how beautiful these mushrooms are, guys. They're gorgeous. Yeah, that's perfect. Yeah, it does. 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 Yeah, it I love that they're in mason charts. You don't want anyone else. Do you want to go back? Look at all the garlic. I see the garlic. Come on, keep it simple. Get it. Oh, wow. Look at that. It's a beautiful. I'm going to do chili. Right. And in a squash over the campfire. So I was thinking I can do cori squash, koji nut squash, a blue hubbard, or one of these. Or just a plain old sugar pumpkin. Okay, let's go check them out. I don't know, the sugar pumpkin is really good. Why well, did hot pies in them? How are you? Hey, oh. Very good. Wow, oh, this. These are wonderful. Lots of fun, oh, huh? Fantastic. Middle of the beautiful. winter, right on the nice. window sill. So it's a beautiful color. Yeah. Uh, they're ready to go. All you got to do is harvest them with a little pair of scissors or a sharp knife. Wonderful. And they're all the okay. same price: five dollars or three for twelve. Okay. Oh my gosh! Smell that. Good. That's wonderful. We have our veggies for the week and we're going to go back to camp and make a little brunch 
Yes. And I'm gonna do some mushroom hunting, hopefully. Find some. Mm -hmm. Make maybe make some dinner. Yeah. Dumber State Park, and it's right on the edge. I mean, literally almost in town of uh, Radical. It does have a dump station, potable water, um, one bathroom site, main bathroom site up here in the, and it's pretty much in the loop one through 26. Uh, 50, 50 campsites for tents and RVs. And there's uh, 10 lean-to shelters. Lean-tos are nice. Yeah, they are. Uh, there's, what did you say, two, two loops going through the park. Mm -hmm. And several trails that you can hike. We're heading for a little bit of a hike. We're taking the sunrise trail. The sunrise trail. Uh, it's only one mile. It's a one mile. Well. The great mushroom hunter got like three feet onto the trail <laughs> and she's found mushrooms that are not edible. Uh, no, not true. I found a chicken nugget. She found a chicken nugget. <laughs> yeah. Okay, one nugget. <laughs> you found a chicken nugget. So we got like two chicken nuggets? Two chicken nuggets. We got two chicken nuggets now. Isn't she cute? Uh, it's adorable. Chicken nuggets. <laughs> trail loop. Woods have been picked clean of mushrooms. I'm not finding anything. <laughs> <laughs> Here, mushroom. Not even a peak. Here, mushrooms. <laughs> sure <laughs> <laughs> Here, mushrooms. So, we'll keep looking. I'm going to keep looking. I haven't given up yet. <laughs> I wanted to say thank you so much to the Central Pennsylvania Mycology Club who welcomed me with open arms and allowed me to join them in Cook's Forest uh, over the weekend. It was, it was really special. I learned a lot. So thank you so much for passing along your knowledge and allowing me to join you. We got what? Turkey tail. Oh, a little baby turkey tail. A little baby turkey tail. It's uh, very medicinal. Anti tumor, anti cancer. Can I make a little turkey tail tea in the morning for breakfast? All right. Uh, and a couple mushrooms. Yeah, a couple? <laughs> a couple. Not hey. too many. Not too bad. <laughs> That's more than none. This is true. <laughs> Back to camp, cook some dinner. I think we're having, uh, let's see, what are we having? barbecued uh, linesman steaks with some braised greens and quinoa. Ooh, okay. Yeah. Sounds pretty good to me. All right. All right, I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> we're making barbecued linesman steaks. Yes, yeah, so with got, some, got some barbecue sauce. Barbecue sauce. Carrots and golden beets and, and uh, quinoa. And quinoa and other green stuff. Yes. Yeah, see all the other green stuff over there? Some that I foraged. Oh, that's right. Mm -hmm. We found that. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. So, right. yeah, it'll be a nice, healthy meal because we've been uh, eating. Gary, we've been eating. You had a fried chicken sandwich and then you had burgers and french fries. and. Well, you twisted my arm, maybe a bit. <laughs> Yes, that's that, my story. That sounds like something that's I would do. That's my story. I'm sticking to yeah, it. Yeah, that sounds like something I would do. <laughs> right. Sure. Cool. <laughs> so yeah, nice healthy meal tonight. Okay. Action. <laughs> Action. All right. So as you can see, guys, I have my zucchini squash. I have uh, carrots, celery, uh, some golden beets, and I just put in my um, eggplant. And I'm just gonna stir fry this um, so tender, fairly tender. So I've got my stock simmering. Um, if you can smell this, let me tell you. That smells good. That smells fantastic. So let's put in the quinoa. I did the stock in everything. <laughs> you did the stock? You mean you poured in the stock? I poured the water in and the stock. And I, 
sprinkled stuff in. Yeah, you and did I a great job, baby. And heated it up. You did a great job. Season these with. Oh, these are nice. Yeah, they are nice, right? Yeah, look at those. From Dunks, uh, Dunks Mushrooms yeah. in Brentwood. Mm -hmm. uh, my favorite mushroom pimp. <laughs> right. And uh, I'm going to season these with my uh, Road Dust Spice, my special spice mix, um, and get these marinating, uh, nice little dry rub, and then I'm going to put them on the timbo. Yeah. Yeah. Just going to cut these down the center. The beauty of lion's mane, it kind of tells you what part of the body um, it is good for. Kind of looks like a little bitty uh, brain. And lion's mane is extremely, extremely beneficial for cognitive uh, uh, brain health. Just really overall nice medicinal mushroom. So I like to add it to our meals whenever possible. Uh, I have some dandelion greens that I grabbed. I have some of the um, tall blue lettuce, which I can't use too much of that. You know, it's kind of a diuretic. Uh, so I'm only going to use a few of those. Great. I know. That's just what you need. Mm -hmm. So we're just going to flip over. Lion's mane. If you can see, put some nice fruit in here. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to brush them with some barbecue sauce. Uh, I made this uh, at home. And brought this with smoky, slightly spicy barbecue sauce. Uh, if I can remember, <laughs> uh, I'll try and put that recipe out there for you guys to try. It's ready, it's nice and fluffy. So I have this um, beautiful porcini that I found earlier um, in the woods while I was foraging. So I'm gonna cook this. Uh, Gary probably won't eat it, <laughs> but, but I will. So I'm going to go ahead and saute this while it's nice and fresh and I'm going to have this uh, with my dinner, a little bit of wine. Yeah, I figured you would say that. We can enjoy because I'm not having it. What, why, why do you hate portini so much? Look at this. Isn't this beautiful? Look at it. You know you want some. <laughs> Look at that great fire I get going. But, well, you know what? This. Oh, okay. You know what? That's actually pretty good. Pyro here put everything in here. Pizza boxes. Uh, all of it, you, as you can see, stuff is flying. Stuff is flying everywhere. You put a little much in there, mister. I'm just saying. Look at those beautiful porcinis. These are gorgeous. Yum. All right, throwing the greens on. This is a done meal. Wonderful bread that we got from the farmer's market today. Uh, we're going to plate this up. And we're gonna sit by the fire. But you can see, like, you know, lion's mane. It's the other white meat. Check it out. Yeah, it that lo looks it, just like. It looks like pork. Looks just like pork, right? It does. Look at that. Yeah. Yep. Ah, it's delicious. It's pretty good. The king mall. <laughs> in the center here. Perfect. Alrighty. It's not the prettiest plate. Well, there yeah. you go. So, so Got to have the microgreens. <laughs> okay. Mm. Um, so these are the microgreens that we got from the uh, farmer's market. The farmer's market. That guy was actually really cool. He was very nice yeah, actually. It's nice. a nice little mixture. I do like microgreens. They what? Are, are you I admitting know. that? They really? Are pretty, they are pretty tasty. <laughs> I'm not vegan, but I do eat very, very well at camp and at home. Because this is delicious. Wow. That is really good. Everything is. Even the microgreens. Wow. They well. Everybody's seen my stomach. Not bad. <laughs> uh, not bad. Better than not bad. <laughs> Very good. Thank you, baby. This is our last day at Fort Dummer State Park here in Brattleboro, Vermont. And uh, yeah, we're just hanging out here uh, waiting for the rain, although it's, it's getting lighter out. So it looks like maybe, maybe we got lucky. But um, <laughs> knock on wood.
Yeah, yeah, that's funny. Oh, now but, you're funny. Uh-huh, yeah, uh -huh. yeah. I'm, I'm always funny. Uh -huh. I'm hilarious. Yeah. Everybody says so. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, we, we've had a good weekend. Still waiting to find those and, everybody. Um. <laughs> Whatever. We've had uh, a really good weekend. We're going to uh, head into town in a few minutes. Uh, I don't have to cook tonight, so we're going to go out for yeah. dinner and enjoy a lovely evening in the town of Brattleboro. And, of course, we're going to take you with us. And we're still coming off of the high of uh, our time spent with you guys in Cook's Forest, uh, Pennsylvania, at the Hyper Trailer East Camp Out. A wonderful, wonderful weekend, and we really enjoyed meeting all of you. Thank you so much for all of the love and support that you've given our little channel here. Uh, we appreciate you guys so much, especially uh, Matt and Wendy DeWitt. Um, you guys are class act. You're amazing. So. Uh, we appreciate you, but we hope you enjoyed this episode, and if you did, don't forget to uh, click the like button, leave us a comment, and mm -hmm. don't forget to subscribe to our channel, please, so that we can bring you more content like this. But yeah, whether we see you in the skyways or the highways, just know that we're going to take you with us. We've made it to okay, Vegan ready? AF. What do you On think? a scale of one to ten. Ten. Uh, ten. <laughs> and I'm, I'm saying that as a carnivore. Oh. Phenomenal. You come Phenomenal. to Vermont and you go to Brattleboro and you come to <laughs> Vegan AF. Yes. And I, I'd like to say that out loud. You will not be disappointed. I agree. We're heading back to the camp. Yes. <laughs> and time to go. Time to go. <laughs> it's probably the nicest morning we've had here, and we're packing up and heading out to parts unknown. <laughs> I think I think it's kind of decided we're heading up to Kangamangas Highway to Jigger Johnson uh, for a couple nights uh, with our, my buddy Jack, and uh, we're packing it up. Once again, we're packing up to leave with everything wet. <laughs> <laughs> It's not as wet as it has been, though. Ready to fold this up? Ready to fold up. All ready. Until next time, little boy. Off to the next adventure. What trail are we on? I don't know. <laughs> I'm just following you. <laughs> the old slate quarry was operated in the 1800s, late 1800s, 80 feet deep, 25 feet long, 35 feet wide, 40 feet of water. It was 40 feet of water, huh? That's cool. Very cool. This is really cool coming through here, isn't it? It is. Look at the, look at the color on this. Yeah. Wow, that's kind of beautiful. It's a little spooky. It is a little spooky. <laughs> oh, wow. I thought we should come over here earlier. Whoa. Oh, I see. I see what they're saying. Oh, it opens ah. up to this little quarry here. Okay, so I was up there. Yeah. I was up there. You were up there, my yeah, friend. Yeah, and I was looking down here. I was like, what's down there? Oh, that's very cool. I'm like, that's where all the bodies are hidden. <laughs> <laughs> I think so, maybe. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, this is very, a very interesting little walk in here. Yeah. All right, you're going to fall down. Wow, thanks for your <laughs> I'll catch you at the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> Well, this is our last day in Brattleboro. We're at uh... Fort Dummer. Okay. <laughs> Fort Dummer <laughs> State Park. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right. Uh, 14. Woo
Which he just had them for breakfast and he didn't even realize. So, you know, there's that. No, you didn't. I get help. No, you didn't. I, 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 I don't say things when I don't need <laughs> <Yeah. laughs>